five. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, okay. This is my friend James. We were just talking a little bit of uh, YouTube talk right now, and sure. we are live streaming. We're going to do a before and after, which should be a lot of fun. Guess who's going to be the before, and guess who's going to be the after. I guess we're a little delayed there. Not too bad, though. No, no, that was me just... All right, so... Earlier, I got to cut my hair. I want to check out my waves. Look, if you uh, if you have curly hair, all right, this is really cool. Like for you, you know, Puerto Rican dudes out there like me or Cuban, you know, if you got curly hair, it'd be whatever. But like, watch what I can do. I, I mean, this works for white people too, if you got curly hair. All right, so like, watch this. I could do this. And I got, oh, look at that. I got like those really cool sport waves. Look at that. Before and after, instantly. Okay, that's not what I was going to show you, though, all right? Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? We got a couple people here in the house. What's up, Nikki? Yeah. What's up, Piano Girl? What's up, Brian? What's up, Joy Ann? Hey, what up, Glenn? My boy. Hey, Glenn could do this because Glenn's got curly hair. Hey, by the way, if you guys didn't know, this guy just did a premiere. If you didn't know, on the, what? Oh, my gosh, TV. Yes, did a premiere. You did a premiere, too. We both did a premiere. Yeah. Something brand new that we've never done. So if you don't know, you got to check it out. Awesome content. People are loving it too, by the way. Yeah, big shout so, out to you guys. Something a little bit different. You know, a lot of you have been asking, you know, hey, Omar, can you do something different? So I'm like, you know, I'm going to do something different. Just like I'm going to do something different right now with my boy James because his hair is wolfy looking. Look at this. You can see gray hair and stuff. Like, it's bad. Look at this. Yeah, so we're going to cut his hair together. I'm going to mess his hair up. I'm going to mess it up. It's going to be fun. You get to watch it. So let me know in the comments. What I should do to his hey, hair. My imaginary girlfriend won't like that. What? I was saying I'm gonna hook you up with the best hair oh, okay. ever. Cool. All right. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna we're gonna do this together. So let me know how we should cut James's hair. So I'm thinking a little bit off the top. Maybe. Oh, bro, you got you got enough hair for a mullet. Oh, perfect. Bro, how how about we? Yeah, let's give James a mullet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, business in the front, party in the back. I think that I think, I think that'll work out good. Out. Grow that out for about a year. Yeah, I mean, it, nah, bro. Like we just cut the sides. Or I'm, t yeah, that's gonna be fun. I mean, we just go bald. Too. Mullet works too, bro. Mullets are in right now, like for real. Yeah. But look at his beard. I man. think I kind of got it. Oh my god, it's so bad. We should. You know what? You got a little something to work with, though. I mean, mm -hmm. wait, unless you're gonna do the goatee. Yeah, the normal thing, you know. Just Right, we're gonna we're gonna hook that up too. Okay. All right. We're gonna definitely hook him up here. Yeah, make me look so, good. That's everybody's good. saying mullet for sure. <laughs> Sean oh, put oh. lines. Whoa, James Shaney said. Mohawk. Somebody said, "What's up, Kelsey? A bowl cut." Bowl cut. Oh, let's grab the bowl. <laughs> I got a bowl here. So, oh, that's not a good oh, idea. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You need a bigger bowl. James got a big old noggin. Let's see here. Here, let's see. Okay. There we go. No, we're going to need two bowls. All right, that bowl doesn't work. We're going to have rest on my head. Do this one. Two bowls. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Hey, that one kind of works. That one kind of works. All right. All right, yeah, I think that provides a nice base for our bowl cut mullet that we're going to be doing here in a few minutes. So a fade and a box cut. Okay, I like that. How are your new babies? New babies are doing great. Thanks for, thanks for uh, asking about them. Need a wax. Oh. Whoa, shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to wash that and wash this one because it probably has some termites in it. All right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let James hold that while we start cutting them up. All right. Let's see how this goes. What do you guys think? May not be able to read a lot of your comments. So a second ago, before we we're gonna go live, James had his shirt off. <laughs> and he was like, oh, you're going to go live? I'm going to put my shirt back on. Like, <laughs> hey, I haven't been working out uh, the last uh, the last uh, few months. Okay? Let's go work out, bro. We do. Let's go work out tomorrow. I'm down. We can work out tonight. Yeah, we could, actually. What's up, Ghostly Travels with Zach? What up, man? That's my bro right there. Did he get, did he get arrested the other day or something? He got swatted. I got swatted. Carlitos. Carlitos. Carlito. Give him a mohawk. And off. Okay, here we go. Bro, look, what is this? Do you sleep on your side? 
I do. Dang. I mean, I sleep on both sides, though. But I get, like, cowlicks on that side. I hate it. All right. I'm not going to give you a mullet. This is Omar's, if you guys didn't know, this is Omar's first time cutting hair. We'll see how this goes. Great. I mean, I could always just wear a hat for a few weeks, right? Uh -uh. That looks pretty good. Yeah, looks yeah. great. What do you guys think? Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right. What's up, Chaney? Chaney in the house. Go bald. No, I'm good on that one. What up, Ghost Hunter? In the house. Smash that like button. I agree, piano girl. Thank you. Love you two together. Thanks. We like being together. We're going to cuddle after this. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. There's a definite, definitely a hole right back here. Kaylin said you got to get a big enough bowl over that head. And what are you trying to say? James got a noggin. Kaylin. All right. All right. Let's see here. Your hair, your choice. Now when Omar's cutting it. <laughs> uh, no choices here. You guys feel bad for me yet? Bro, I'm about to give you the best mother humping mullet ever. No mullet. Why not, James? Bald? Could you imagine me bald with my big old? I'd have look. I'd have a forehead that would go on forever. I don't not think that would look good on me at all. I mean, some guys can pull off. Like Omar can pull off being bald. I hate my hair like bald. But yeah, but you can pull it off. Oh, thanks. I can't pull that off. Ooh, you're in trouble. Who's in trouble? You. Oh. Because Tip just texted me. She goes, how the hell you getting a haircut before I do? I've been waiting weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're in trouble now. <laughs> I guess he's coming home to cut your hair too, Tip. All right, so, so far. Let's see James's mullet. See, there's his mullet. Looking good? Yeah, bro, not too bad. Sweet. You're about to see it right now on the... You know, on the, the stream. No, there. I want to. I'm not it's gonna look. It's a little bit I want to be surprised. No, check it out, bro. It looks cool. Okay. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's got him. I mean, I did a little mess up right there, but it's all good. I'm gonna fix that. I fix it. I fix it. I okay. think that's a good idea. Something actually let, let me cut your hair. Oh hell you no! Said beard, but I can cut nah. your beard. No, never. I think that's a good idea. Never. Tell Omar that he should get some donkeys for his farm. I yeah. thought about getting donkeys, but I heard donkeys could be mean against goats, especially like baby goats. So that's why I opted out, because that was my first choice was getting donkeys. But then I did research and I saw that llamas are very good livestock guardians, as well as my great Pyrenees that I got. But it's going to take her a while to, to learn. What are you trying to say, Caitlin? She goes, take that shirt off. You probably need the same haircut as your hair does. <laughs> What's that she, mean? She's trying to say you're hairy. I I am not that hairy. I was not too hairy, even though I shaved lately, so I'm good. Bro, you got a whole mullet on your neck. <laughs> okay, my neck does get hair. That is true. I'm going to have you shave that, too. Yeah, I'll shave it. I'm going to put some, uh, some designs on your neck. Nice. What's up, Marita? <laughs> Marita! Marita, Marita, Marita and Carlos Way. Carlos Way. Yo, we met somebody. Do we meet somebody that knows Carlos or did he just. Remember that guy we met the other day? Outside um, the gas station? Oh, yeah. Um, he was mentioning Carlos. Did yeah. he know Carlos or did Ghost he just follow Whisper. him? Oh, Ghost Whisper, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he just, we just bumped into him. The Tattoo Cupcake, what up? Braxton says, hope you're having a wonderful new year. Take hey, care. Thanks. Hope you are too. God is good. Wanda says, Omar, I am a long time watcher. Thanks, Wanda. That's what's up. Appreciate it. Let me know here in the comments what's your like goals for the new year for 2023. Mine so far have been crushing. Because my very first goal, really my main goal was to 
Uh, I mean, this is just me personally. I'm not trying to push anything on anybody. Um, I, I still happen to love Jesus, mm -hmm. and I wanted to get closer to God. And on New Year's Day, I went to church, and I hadn't been to church in a really long time. It's so. a really good church too. Yeah. So that's that's one of my goals. We so should go again this Sunday. Closer. Yeah, I'm definitely going. And Boston was excited yeah. to go. Oh, good. What's up, Suki? Somebody said, I forgot who it was, but they said, what about an emu? I want to get some emus. And then there's these uh, birds. They're called rias. Mm -hmm. They almost look like emus. Oh, really? But they're a little smaller. Oh, I never heard of those. Yeah. That's cool. They're called Ria rias, I think is the name of them. Hmm. We got to tame your cow first. Dude, our cow is mean. Oh, no. Anybody know a good cow trainer? <laughs> Love your video says us R eight T. Yo, appreciate that. We just dropped James and I both dropped some videos back to back together, and and they're pretty cool. They're like documentary style reaction videos, and there was a couple people that they were. I appreciate their honesty. They were very like skeptical, and they were like, "Dude, I love this. It's so different." So, somebody compared our videos to like you know Nuke's top five or. Slapped him and uh, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that at all. It's very different. Yeah, that's why we never made any reaction videos because we didn't want to do that until we came up yeah. with the idea of we wanted to do a podcast. When also, I think it would be a good idea maybe to do like a live reaction. podcast reaction. Right. One day would be kind of cool. That's too. something that I'd love to do on this channel. Mm -hmm. Like maybe share some videos like from viewers. Yeah, if you guys have any like really good like say you have some old videos of maybe personally or your friends have filmed that has some kind of craziness and it doesn't have to just be paranormal it could just be something just absurdly wild or crazy or something mysterious or mysterious or unexplainable or something that's you know maybe even something that's like a random act of kindness or you know something really cool like that you'd like us to uh, review shoot an email to omar and uh, let him know look cool. at this guy's neck hair I do. Look at this. Bad. Look at it. You know what? I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh boy. Where are you going? Maritia said <clears throat> my goal is to finalize my divorce and start a new chapter in my life. Ooh. Please keep me in your prayers. Yes, I know how hard divorce is. It's it's not easy. Watch this. Let me, let let me turn the camera on. Around. Okay. What's up, Cassandra? Bro, what are you doing? I could literally put a J. My name or something on my neck? Let me see. I told you I need a haircut. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to put an arrow. Suki says, run, hun, run. All right, I Suki. guess he's got a lot of hair, but I guess it's not that much to do a design. It's not safe, no. Yeah. Thank you for the super sticker, Patricia. Anyways, yeah, it does a lot. Has it has a lot, lot more than hers. Yes, that is true. I do need a lot more than tip does right now. Oh. Yeah, this, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is an emergency situation. Make it a little more blonde. Yes, I, I do like doing highlights. Maybe I'll do a live stream and like do my own highlights or something. I was thinking about dyeing my hair blonde. I used really? to, yeah, I used like, to have like bleached blonde? blonde hair. Yeah. Really? It looks cool. You know what my favorite part about. Having blonde hair like that is when it grows out, like the dark roots. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I think it's pretty cool. I wonder how I'd look with blonde hair. Oh, yeah, man. like completely bleached blonde. Yeah, I think the highlights look really good, though, too. Nah, man. You think it looks Bro, look, James's hairline starts down here. Like, this is... It starts on my upper back. It really does. Yo, Emma Jane, thanks for becoming a member. You know what's cool, bro? If you ever start balding, mm -hmm. they can legit take hair off your back. Oh, really? And just... Yeah, re well, what's it. weird is I don't have hair like down my back. I have it on my upper back. Or your neck. Well, no, it's actually like down to like right here. And then it stops? Yeah, and it stops. But what happened was I never had hair on my neck or on my back. And I went to the barber when I was like 20 years old. And they cut all the way down to my like top of my back for no reason. All I had mm. like regular fuzz. And ever since then it started growing in because I'd have to start shaving it and stuff. And it would go lower and lower. Give me jeans. Don't shave things you don't need to. James getting a bowl cut right now. See that? We're gonna leave these lines. It's gonna be. Is it looking like the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> 
He's got this mole like on like on his head right here. So you gotta be really careful. I might leave a little hair around it. We'll call it Chewbacca Hickey. Sonny wants one of us to get waxed. James would be probably the best. I, I've, I've, I've gotten waxed before on live stream, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Have you ever done homeless people's haircuts? Actually, he has. Of course, yeah. And I've done it, like, not on videos, too. Yeah. I just... Well, you stopped doing stuff on videos like that. Yeah. So when I was there with Aiden, we actually helped a couple of homeless people. Mm -hmm. We did some like really cool stuff for them, but like we didn't film it or nothing. You don't have to film it all the time. But oh, you want me to hold it? I yeah, thought yeah, you were like trying to make me look. I thought you had like a like a uh, like a mirror. Yeah. I'll put it there so I can read the comments. Well, the problem too is like when you film it, you always get people that are like, you're only doing this for the camera. It's right. Like, bro, I do things like this all the time. I feel like, though, like, originally when you first started doing it, 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 it you didn't get that. Like, it was it was good. And then there, been, there started being all these people that started doing all these, like, giving to homeless people. But they would do these fake videos. And it would be yeah, outrageously crazy. Fake. Like, you know, the homeless guy would get money. Then he'd go in and, like... You know, go and get stuff and then give it to everybody and then he, you know, go take it back to help some sick dying kid on the street and like all this just crazy stuff that just wasn't normal. And um I think a lot of people, you know, didn't like it because of that. But right, there's those, a lot those of kind people, of videos gave it all. There's right? a lot of people now. Some of you guys know like Jimmy Darts and um there's another guy that does it just like his videos. Um that's all they do is videos like that, but they do it in a good way where they don't just go up to people and give them money. They like test their kindness, and if they pass, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, you know, I'm really hungry. Do you have an extra dollar? Bro, you or, know who the first or, person to ever do that was? You. Bam. Yep. I did this video with this pair of hidden camera sunglasses, mm -hmm. and I went up to people asking them like if they had a quarter because I was hungry, and if they gave me a quarter, I'd turn around and bless them with like, I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. It was like maybe twenty bucks. Yeah, but like, back then, bro, you. You made, like, kind of money I make on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't make any so, money on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, I wasn't making... It was just all just just having fun. And, I mean, it's all having fun anyways. But, mm -hmm. like, I wasn't making any money. No, you did it for the love of it. That's for sure. <clears throat> That's what's up, Sandra. Love Jimmy yeah. Darts. Yeah, I love Jimmy Darts, too. I, I really... He... he uh, I learned about him maybe, like, six months ago and or a year ago when he first kind of... He didn't have many people when I, uh, when I first started watching him and... He's really grown, like, in the last year. It's crazy. He's done, He's done like, collabs with all these big people. Like, he did a collab with Mr. Beast. Did he really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, they, they went into, uh, like, Walmart, and they asked people, like, um, well, they did two, two types. They did one where they say, hey, listen, we have $500. We can either give you this $500 right now, or you can pass it forward and we'll give 10000 We'll let you give $10,000 to a stranger inside the store. And if the people said, um, you know, they want the 500, they get the 500. If they said, we'll give it to a stranger, then they he would actually go and give, to, they would give him the 10,000 to go give to a stranger and, you know, let him feel the blessing of, you know, helping somebody out that much. That's and, then, would do. and then because of his kindness, they give him 10 grand afterwards too. But they didn't tell him that. No, they didn't like tell him that. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't tell him that. That's pretty and cool. And then another one was... They'd go up to oh, people back. and be like, um, oh, this is why I don't do hair anymore. I'm like a dollar short for this, you know, cereal that I need for my son. You know, do you happen to have it? And then if they gave him a dollar, then they bless him. Or he'd go up with like a little toy car and be like, do you want to buy this toy car for a dollar or five dollars? And a lot of people would say no. But the one person that would say yes, they did like stuff five hundred dollars in there. It's, it's pretty good. You can check out his channel. It's nice to see people being able to make videos like that and. And they do well, because, mm -hmm. I don't know, like you said, there was a bunch of um, videos going around that were, like, for homeless people, but they were, like, staged. Yeah. Yeah, I really ruined it, too. Yeah. Because so. then, yeah, that's it. I feel like that's when you started getting, like, hate on some of your videos when you did that. I remember one year, Omar spent all this money, and this is back before he had a lot of money, or had money, and... He went and bought like 300 pairs of shoes from the store. Bro, I literally emptied out my bank account. I remember that. Yeah. And but. we went to the homeless shelter and we washed uh, homeless people's feet. 
and, and they give put, haircuts. And, and give haircuts and, and put sick. brand new shoes on them, which is really cool. There's a video of that, which yeah, is really cool. Yeah, I need to go back and watch that. Hey, Broken Soul, thank you. Big shout out to you from Ohio. I you were there. Yeah, I was there. Mm -hmm. I was washing feet too. You were washing some feet? Mm-hmm. I did, I did. You know that someone messaged me on Facebook the other day and they showed me this picture or some of, of a gentleman. I don't know where exactly he is he's at, but he's giving homeless people shoes, like brand new shoes. And he has this whole like ministry doing this, and it was all started from my videos. No way, really? Yeah, bro. Oh, it all that's started so from cool. My videos, which is awesome, and like that's it was amazing. just so heartwarming because that that was such a long time ago. And that was the whole point of the videos to show other people and like. Like you can make a difference in your community, right? Yeah. And that dude's making a difference in his community. I'm not sure exactly where where he's from, but I mean he's making a difference, mm -hmm. giving people that have lost hope a lot of them. More love, you know. Some of those people sometimes they just need a friendly touch. They just need someone to know that they're loved and that they're they're cared for. And it might be that small difference, like a pair of shoes, that something like you know you and I take for granted that mm -hmm. helps them get off the streets. Yeah, I mean, even just sometimes saying hello, how are you? How's your day to a homeless person when everybody yeah. treats them like they don't even they're not even they don't alive. Exist, yeah. Sometimes that means the most to some of these people. Oh, you're gonna have to go shorter on that. Bro, we're gonna keep the beard. No, that's too thick. Well, yeah, we'll keep it. I got you, bro. You know, like, I, I gotta at least get the gray hair out. You know what I mean? Got you. Actually, you know what? We'll go shorter on the on that right there. Damn, bro. You're gonna break my clippers. Patricia. Who we'll faded up, Omar? Omar, you you asking for that fade? I'm good. Simone, what's up, Simone? Appreciate that. Do you like this? Like, yep. I'm feeling better already. And then, yeah, do you like that? Like that? Sorry I'm not looking at the comments very much, but just wanted to hang out with you a little bit. I got you. James is kind of moderating here a little bit. All right, same thing with the other side. Chin up. I ain't got no gray hair on my top of my head. I don't know why I got on my beard. Hey, let James know what you think about the gray hair in his beard. Do you think it's cool? Should he color it? I don't need to color it. When you when you cut it down, you don't see it. Mostly. Yeah, you don't you only see a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. I got gray hair in my beard, not color it, but. I mean, I've seen people get gray hair, like, I don't know. All right, if you guys have gray hair, especially in your beard, how old were you when you started getting gray hair? Well, I started getting gray hair, like, in my 20s. Really? Yeah, I was premature, like... I guess I should feel lucky then, because I'm 45, and I just started getting gray hair maybe, like, two years ago, three years ago, two, two years ago. So I was probably, like, 42, 43. Yeah, it's crazy. The hair over, even on the sideburns is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all decide after I finish fading James up what we should do with his beard. Should we, should we like give him like a thin beard? Should we do the, the goatee? <coughs> you good? <coughs> I'm good. Here's more. No, I'm good. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Should we give them like a, you know, kind of like a beard like mine, like a like a thick beard like that, 
Um, should we do like the like the chin straps? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know what you think. What should we do here? All right, I'll read you some. All right. Don't cut his lips, said Christina. I'm, I'm with you. Omar, I love your content, says Sandra. Hey, thanks. Alicia said, hey, Omar and James, love all the videos. Watch every day, old and new. Big hugs from Mississippi. Oh. Appreciate that. I always love it when fans go back and watch old videos, too. That's awesome. No, I'll do this later. <laughs> Bro, my back hurts. Oh, happy birthday, Glenny. Glenn. Oh, his birthday was a couple days ago. the first, yeah. This is a belated birthday. Maritia, what up? I'm a 64-year-old woman rocking a brush cut because my long hair stuck to me in bed. Oh, no. I haven't heard that term in a while, like brush cut. Hmm. James, you can go look for a date now. Oh, thanks, Lori. Yeah, you weren't getting a date with the last year, good. No. But I don't know. You had a couple girls, like, hitting you up while you were alive, saying, I'll be your girlfriend, James. Mm. Especially one that you find extremely special. Hey, He's listen. always I'm, talking about. I'm willing about, to start traveling, okay? You could be anywhere in the country. I'm, I'm down. Like, Arizona. He likes those girls in Arizona. Arizona does have pretty girls. There's pretty girls everywhere. That is true. I just seem to find a lot that are not available in Arizona. No, you just be going after like ten and a half. No. James be going after like literally like supermodel. That is babes. not true. You know what? I'm happy with it as long as they got a pretty smile and a good, you know, good personality, I'm I'm good. What if they don't got teeth? If that's great. <laughs> 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 Inquire! Inquire within! Oh, hey, our no teeth girls need some oh, love. Man. It's all good. <laughs> My ideal age range would be between, I'd say, 33 and 43 is ideal. But, you know. Yeah, try like 23. No. 23 to no. 30. That's... No. I am not dating anybody in their 20s. That's not happening. There gotta at least be a three or a four in front of it. So, sorry. <laughs> if you don't have a three or a four in front of your age, that's not. Nah. I no. think a, a I ain't good, dating no more 20-year-olds. A good, you know, between 40 and 50 is, is good for you. Mm-hmm. So I've much. only dated one young girl my whole life. Okay? Just one? I haven't, just one. How'd that work out? Mm, no comment. Give it a landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> How about a landing strip? No, I'm good. Shave it off. All right, I don't have the best lighting in here. Chrissy but says, "Line out his jaw." I like I that. that. Line out his jaw. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have to do a reverse fade on the burns. Color here. of pink and purple. What? Mm -hmm. Are we talking about hair? Oh, thanks, Lori. She said, "Let James decide." That's very sweet. Well, what do you want? Uh, you know, like, kind of, you know, whatever you think, you know, kind of like how I kind of have it, you know, line out with a chin kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. I ain't too picky. Yeah, true. Ooh, Mo, look at that face! Mo look always face. gets a face line. What's a face line? A face line is when you do an imaginary jawline with your beard. It's kind of like what I got going on right now. Oh, okay. Since we have, like, super double chins. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. Thanks, I, Bobby. I have a pretty good neckline. I haven't tall. gone just go tea in a while. You want to do just go tea? Do go Willie style? Man, I haven't done that in so long. I don't know how that would look. Who rocks a go tea nowadays? James the fan. I'm bringing it back. Okay, so... Beard, number one. Goatee, number two. Let's vote right now. All right, beard one. You know, a nice jawline beard, beard or uh, a goatee, two. One or two. Let's or chin see. straps, three. That is good. That is true, Maurizio. Or completely, like, no hair. Sammy says she's still binge watching your old videos and letting the ads play. Oh, that's what's up. Thanks, I love that. 
Thanks for supporting our advertisers that, you know, to help fund some of those videos. All right, here we go. Two, 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 one, two, one. One two 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 one two two one one two. two okay, what was two again? One. Uh, two is a goatee. One is a wait. <laughs> goatee for real? Is that what everyone's saying? Wait. Number one was a beard. Number two was a goatee. Man, why is it? Is I think it was the opposite. Wait, now I forgot. What no. was number one? What was number two, guys? Number one was because we're getting beard. way more twos. What was one? What was two? I forget. Getting some threes in there. Bunch of threes now. Okay, three was the chin straps. Three, three, one, three, two, one, and two. And four was a clean shave. It was one, four, two, fours. Two, one, two. Who's Jeffrey Dean Morgan? He said I look like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I'm not sure that is. That's the guy on the billboards. Oh, sure. Two, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, three, one, two, two, four, one, three, two, one, three, two, 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 one, two. Two's, I think, has been more than anything. I don't know what the hell a two is, though. I don't remember either. What is please, two? Please help us out. What was two again? I forgot. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Bro, there's a lot of threes, too. I don't know. I would say two probably has the most. Two was goatee. Okay, everybody's saying two was goatee. A lot of threes, too. So should we do the goatee? Mutton chops. Three. Everybody three is the is three a chin is going strap. Crazy. All right. That's well, like I guess we're going three. That's like what I normally have, right? Oh, uh, let's do this again. Number one is a beard. Wait, let's just make two options. Kind of like mine. No, I think it was between goatee and chin strap. Those were the most. Okay. Yeah. So chin straps or goatee. Goatee. Right. goatee is a one. Chin strap is two. And thank you, David. Appreciate that. Remember that. Goatee one, chin strap two. All right. We're doing it over. One or two. Let's see here. And Sammy, thank you again for that super chat. Appreciate you binge watching. All right. You ready? Do a poll. I don't know how to do the whole poll yeah, thing. Yeah. People do that live or on live streams. They do polls. Let I don't me know. see if I, I can do it. I think you do it on the computer. I haven't been able to figure out how to do it on here. Maybe I could do it here. Uh, okay, it doesn't give me an option to do a poll. One, 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 two, one, one, two, 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 one, uh, two, one, two, two. Bro, they want the goatee. Oh, well, wait. One, two, 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 two. Everybody's two, saying goatee. Two, two, one, two, two. Kathy, one, thank you. Gosh. And Emma, thanks for keeping me company tonight, guys. It's 2 a.m. in the U.K., my pleasure. Thanks for being oh, here with us. Most of the two are Glenn spamming the chat. <laughs> All right. So what do, what do we just put it here? I mean, everybody's saying two. So a couple ones in there. I, I think, strap, I, guess. I, don't I don't know. I think two is going to do it. Two is goatee. No. So, goatee was one. Ten strap was two. Wait, what? The goatee was one. I okay. just said, remember, goatee is one. Ten right. strap two. Let's do this again. Okay. <laughs> this is a, this How about be a, this? How about <laughs> this? <laughs> How about let's just put goatee, a, a G for goatee, and a, a and a C, a C, a C for, for chin, chin strap. strap. There we go. Better. How about that? You pay attention to it now, then. Cause All right. I'm gonna look. I'm not good. Somebody at said half and half. G for goatee. Half half. C C G G G. Somebody said M. What's up, Rick? Goatee. Don't count Glenn's as five. <laughs> comments, though. Shave his back hair, David said. <laughs> I I think I did. I, I shaved a lot of his yeah, neck I'm hair. Good. I'm good. Um, CCC, oh, yeah. that's a chin strap. Oh, man, I don't know. We're getting a lot of Cs now. Yeah. So, G, oh, gosh. It's so hard. Uh, Bro, we need to learn how to do a, we really need to learn how to do, do the, a, poll. the poll. All right. I don't know. What What do you think won? It's, I'm, it's I'm seeing the, I'm seeing some Cs. I'm seeing some Gs. It seems like a nice even tie. Here. It does. Hmm. How about this? I'm gonna let the next super chat <laughs> decide. If there is a super chat, I'm gonna let that super chat decide what we do to James. It could be like fifty cents, a dollar, whatever. The chin strap is like the jaw, right? 
um, thing? Yeah, it's like a the chin strap. The way is I like, always do it, like this. No, it's like a thin line. Yeah, like that's a pencil. I do it, like... like a pencil line. Oh, <laughs> let's go with the goatee. <laughs> Wait, no, I was just kidding. Gotta, gotta, I was just kidding. Okay, we we got we got a super chat. All right, Omar and James, please give me a shout out. Oh, uh, you didn't include, but hey, thank you so much. Big shout out to you, Amaton oh, or a Am, Am Amy. Sorry, Amy, if I said that right. It's a goatee. Goatee, Luann, you won. All right, we're gonna do a goatee. All right. And then Mar Maritza also put she also G said goatee. for a goatee. I oh, wonder, wonder if that's the same. Oh, just like one minute too late. Oh, oh okay. man, a bunch of you guys are pouring in here with all right. Goatee. Okay. Ton tons of goatees. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do the goatee. Thank you guys for the super chats, by the way. That was nice. So all right, we're gonna do the goatee. Oh. You're gonna watch it live. Hopefully, I don't mess up. We'll see here. You know, I haven't had a goatee, like, honestly, though, I haven't had a goatee in, like, years, so I always kind of do that style, so I guess it's something different. We'll see yeah. how it looks. You guys are going to have to let me know. I think a goatee is very, like, R. Kelly, you know what I mean? It's been a while, so... Everybody likes the R. Kelly look. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. That's mm. not a joke. No, that's not a joke. Yeah. Did you watch that documentary? No. All right. I know he did a lot of bad things. Very bad news. All right. This is how we goat. It's been two years since. Why do they call it a goat tea? Because it looks like a goat's tea? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to show you what the goat's chin strap would have looked like. Like oh, a yeah. real. Like oh, yeah. Actually, that's kind of good. We can actually see both. I'm going to give you the All whole right. pencil. So, thing. all of you that wanted a chin strap, you're going to get it. But it's just going to be temporary. It's going to be the, the, the hardcore, like. Um, what should I call I'm it? I'm curious what it's going to look like, too, because I don't think it's exactly what I'm used to. Yeah, it's going to be like the pencil line, like prison-style chin strap. And then afterwards, guys, after he's done, you're going to have to vote what you like better. Prison-style. So style. I know for next time. Two for one, man. That's actually a really good idea. Look at that. This guy never shaves. No, I grew up my hair really quick. No, it's been like a week since I shaved. A week? Yeah, I was like... All this neck hair? Yeah. Nah, bro, not a week. Tops 10 days. Well, I brought my, like, shaver, but I didn't realize the batteries did. I left the charger. All right. Like a surgeon. <laughs> it, it looks silly, huh? Bam, bro. Yo, that's tight right there. Hold on, hold on. I ain't done yet. Oh, okay. We're going to leave this. Give you the special E. I gotta look at my phone. So look at this. Really look at this. Gave him the whole Escobar. Woo! That is fresh right there. All right, we gonna leave that. <laughs> oh, no. There's a whole E on the side of your face, and you know what that stands for? Hey, when uh. When you pull up, you could be like, eh, eh. Oh, <laughs> All right. That's fresh, right? Oh, no. Eh, eh. 
Maybe I shouldn't have with the hair. I do. I've been hanging out with these guys too long. I do like the pinstripe too, but still like the goatee better. All right, we're gonna we're gonna continue with the whole. Instead, we're gonna give him the go. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry, I kind of dropped y'all. All right, my bad. All right, let's fix. Let's fix this. All right. All right, here we go. That looked fresh for a second. All right, I'm gonna try not to mess up. Had a lot to drink tonight. What a soda. A lot of water. Alright. I feel naked. Poor E. That was everything. Or you even got neck like here. <laughs> you were like saving for the winter, huh? Yeah. Because you came back from Colorado all like bearded up. I did. All right. This is where I'm going to need to hopefully not mess up. Because James got a crooked face. All right. All right. Can move your legs? I got a crooked face. Yeah. Put your, put your head back. Oh, shit. Actually, you laughing right now just made me mess up. My fault. <laughs> what? Oh, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh. I'm not messing around, hooking you up. Hooking me up. Uh, all right. Come on, let me finish. <clears throat> what are you doing? Read some comments. No, I don't read the comments. They're lying, bro. There's not a vagina on your neck. Emido, thank you, says I do not like the pinstripe too. But still, like the goatee better. Love your videos, and I'm always watching the old ones, too. You guys rock. I appreciate that. Why is everyone laughing out loud? They're not laughing. No? What's LOL stand for? LOL stands for love out loud. Oh, oh thanks, guys. What's up, Trayon? It says, bottom of the chat window, tap create poll. Oh, oh, to do the poll? C-I-G-M. Bottom of the chat window. I think you have to probably do that. I'm assuming on Maybe a laptop. Maybe a laptop. We'll have to check it. <clears throat> Just trying to fix the goatee here. Mm. I think I am gonna look funny enough with a goatee. Oh, bro, goatee tight. Look like Will Smith, but white. Mm. It's funny, my mom always used to say, like, I was, she reminded, I reminded her of Will Smith, or Will Smith reminded me, like, as a growing up. So I got, like, sense of humor. Yeah, bro. You could be Bill Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let me clean this up here. You got a lot of hair, sorry. Thanks for all the loves out loud, guys. Wait, out loud? That wouldn't be LOL. Yeah. Love out loud? Love out oh, loud. Oh, yeah. Love out loud.
Okay, let me fix the lip here. Got a little hair going over it. All right. All right, let's get a, let's get a little close up of James's goatee. See how he did here. All right. I think it's uh I think it's pretty hold on. I think it's pretty even. Yeah, looks it looks pretty good. All right, we gotta finish up top. <laughs> I got a vagina on my neck, bro. What the hell? What the hell? What in Oh my god. Got a vagina strip. Bro, I should go out like this. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Dude, you can start a whole new trend with the whole neck vagina hair. What's up, y'all? <laughs> hey. Hey, I'll spore one. Bro, that's tight, dude. Look at that. That's super tight. You got a whole vagina line. Super, super tight. I like it. <laughs> that's kind of like JJ. Yeah. Oh, I knew you were up to something. No, oh, bro, it's fresh. Don't even worry about it. Let's cut a little bit up here. I mean, that's the closest I've been to a vagina in a long time, so. Hey, that's cool. It'll remind you what you're not getting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't move, or you'll have a vagina up here, too. Hmm. Tight. <laughs> the jizzle? <laughs> <laughs> A tight vajizzle. Lucy James has a new nick named Skidmark. <laughs> <laughs> James, I would never let you. James, I would never let you cut my hair ever again. Oh, I would never let him cut my hair again. <laughs> Landing strip neck. <laughs> yeah. Call it the James cut. I dare you to keep it. Bro, for real. I, I actually <laughs> dare you to keep it. No, I'm good. Come on. It's going to be great. <laughs> the hair looks good, though. Yeah, man. Wait till he itches it. Then go cross eye. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, oh shit. Great. I better not see this on social media. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. No, no screenshots. <clears throat> Hey, look up here real quick. All right, guys, screenshot that. <laughs> Hashtag too late. James Vagina. <laughs> no, it's landing strip, apparently. Oh, God. I'm so hairy. I got to take a shower. Gonna itch your neck. I'm more hairier than I started. Gonna itch your neck. <laughs> I'm so itchy. Uh, uh. I got the heebie jeebies. I'm leaving that. I'm gonna shave it off, then. <laughs> you gonna shave your vagina? <sighs> Could have charged your shaver, James. Hey, I got a razor. I'll make it work. <laughs> Landing strip trend. <laughs> Bro, for real, we could be starting a whole new trend, and we didn't even know it. That's how trends start. <laughs> like people do something on accident, they're like, ooh. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, from a distance, it might look like a, like a long goatee or something. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's an extension of your goatee. You know what I mean? If you had a little bit more hair down here, I could have put a little arrow. Like, mm -hmm. hey, guys, look at this down here. Want to see my beefy looking chest patties? Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, let me shave this for JJ. Oh. I'm going to shave James's for James. Okay, all done. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get a close look here. We're shaving James's vagina here. All right, there it goes. Oh, we got a nice clean vagina now. Look at that. You know what's funny? Mm. <clears throat> I just used these on my pubes yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Yeah, looking good, man. Looking good. I like it, bro. It looks good. I left the hair like longer up top. No, I like it like that. Yeah. I just cut like on the sides here. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you want me to cut 
the Wait. sides here a little bit more. Uh, how about like like I can I can actually cut that completely off. What the cowlick like, area? Yeah, like if yeah, you want I hate this. this. Like, well, okay. you mean like right here? No, like, like this stuff. No, then I, I don't have my scissors. That's the only. Thing. Oh, that's right. That's right. Never mind. So where your part is, uh -huh. you can keep the part, and I can completely cut like just cut that off. Like I've done that like on myself sometimes. Oh yeah. So what I'll do is like I'll go high up with the clipper and just completely like so this would be like tight like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks good. What do y'all think? Yeah, should we do that? I think we should try that. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, because I hate this hair right here. Like it's too bulky, you see? I can't guarantee any great outcome to that though. Oh shit. It could be good or it could be terrible. I mean Honestly, I hate this hair right here, so like I'm down with cutting this. At okay. least at least cut it down a little bit anyways. I'll cut I'll start out with a number three cool. first. And we'll see. Yeah, I that. think the less there the better for sure. Alright. Yeah. Cleaning you up, bro. What you tweeting out, everyday treasures? Change his neck vagina. Yeah, everyone says do it. Okay. So I'll start out with a nice clean part. There we go. So we're pretty much going to be faded to that. the part. Yeah, kind of faded to the part. Right there. Bam. So. I think this is a good move. But we'll have to ask the fam. What's up, Stacy? Thanks for being here. Damn, you got 1,300 fans in the house. 1,300? 1,300. On the live channel? Yeah. Damn. That's more than last live stream. That's tight. Just to see me get my hair cut? That's some love. They came here to see James's vagina. Yeah, you know what? I think we had like 700 people until that happened. <laughs> the word spreads fast. No. Maybe I can get a date now. We'll see. I think so, man. Put a little tighter right through here. Remember those hair cutting vacuums? Oh yeah. They're I'll, good for women, maybe. I remember. You I like this better, by the way, already. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. I remember watching like the kid on the infomercial. He's like getting his hair sucked. That was like in the 80s. You know, they didn't just always use it for the hair. Damn, James, we'll have to have all the ladies chasing it now. Oh, thanks, man. First time watching a live stream. Yo, shout out to you, Jamie. That's what's up. Thanks for being here, Jamie. Topsy Curl. We have fun in the live streams. Floby? A Floby, that's what it was. Remember the Flobies? Oh yeah, that's what they were. Yeah, everyone's remembering that. There's a lot of comments, Floby. Love you too, Kayla. Shout out to me, says Sandra. Yeah. Today's my worth my wife my wife. My wife Misty's birthday. Can you say hi? Happy birthday, Misty. Happy birthday to Misty. How you guys doing? We're doing good. We got both got live streams in today and videos, which is yeah. dope. If you didn't check out our videos today, we both did a premiere of a new type of video. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. And check the videos out, like man. are performing like pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Like I ain't gonna lie, I've been a little discouraged, like last maybe month or so, because uh, I mean I busted my butt on a new series. I haven't got to put it out yet, but. I was still trying to upload content, and while uploading content, like, it just just wasn't doing well. And I'm mm -hmm. like, man, obviously people are getting sick of this. Maybe yeah. I should do something different. This is the first good, like, decent one you put out in a long time. Yeah, I mean, like, you've had really great videos, but, like, yeah, statistically-wise. So it's, it's nice to see a video, like, people that enjoy, because if people don't enjoy the content that I make, it's like, I, it makes me sad. 
Joey says, Omar, can you please come out to Winnipeg, Canada and shave my head and trim my beard? <laughs> hey, probably not in the wintertime. But summertime, that's kind of like, it's really cold in Canada. Forget that. I don't know how y'all stay up there in Canada in this cold weather. Same. Still think James needs a pink goatee. A pink goatee? Pink goatee. How about that? We're almost done here. We're just doing the final touches. Oh, everybody in the comments saying happy birthday to you too, Misty. Hey, Omar, James, how you guys today? We're good, Myra. Hope you're doing good. Good haircut, says Tammy. Hey, thanks, Tammy. You look amazing, Omar, says hey, Crystal. I appreciate it. I'm Shaney's, working on it. Shaney's was there for both our, our premieres. Thanks, Shaney. James, do you know Diwa? Oh, hey, hey Omar. Oh. Do you know that they say that men are not capable of being able to bend over and spell run? Did you know that? Yeah, you can't. They said, they said men can't bend over and spell run. Try it. Try to bend over and spell run. I bet you can't do it. I feel like this is like a... Like a joke or something. Well, no. Like, it's, they say you can't do it. Can you bend over and spell run? So you just bend over. Just bend over and, and spell spell run. Well, on. All right. I don't know. Is this true? You can't... Is it? They say guys can't bend over and spell run. Uh, let me know here in the comments. All my guys watching, bend over right now and spell the word run. I'm going to do it Try with it. you. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you're going to do something. No, I want to stay over here. I'll stay over here. I'll stay way back here. Go ahead. All right. R-U-N. <laughs> Are you in? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you in? <laughs> All right. Hey, I deserve that for James's neck vagina a little bit. All right. No, that was good. That was uh, good. It's impossible. <laughs> All right. I want to know how many guys here in the comments were actually doing that. Right. Because if you did, you're you know, a real women G. were doing it too. Huh? N women were doing it too. Was oh, they nice were. Talk? Okay. I mean, you know. I would rather the women do that than the men. They're probably trying to figure it out. I know that we're not wrong. I mean, if you know. still want to say hi. I'll be training. I'll be training Christmas in two days on the seventh. Oh, that's what's up, Joey. I hope you are doing good, brother. <clears throat> all right. What the hell? That's funny. Look at all the funny laughing emojis. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, whoever, anyone ever heard that one before? Ah, no, I can't answer right now. Somebody calling you? Yeah, my daughter. I'll call her back. The nerd jock said, Omar and James, you all have a place to stay if you're up in Dallas, Texas area. I live no, outside. Thanks. Bunch of haunted places. Uh, if you ever need a place, let me know. Yo, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Shout out to the new jock. Yeah. James, you look great. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Arnold, uh, Arnold, 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 Arnold? Shoot. Let me, print, let me spell this name? out. Erned. Erned. Erned? E R N A D. Are you in? I think that's what they're trying to say. Siri is haunted saying Mr. F head. What? <laughs> I snorted from laughing, says Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that was worth the price of admission right there. You got him good, James. Who else is here is from Utah. I bet you we have some Utah fans here. Hello from Arizona. What up? Mer what are you doing? Are you doing something again? No. Bro, come on. There's no I payback. Didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything Why bad. are you laughing? I did. I just gave you a part. What? Okay. Scare me there for a second. All right. Oh, you thought you can pay back again. Nah, man. Just hook me up. Yeah, it's looking good. All right. Should I shave the middle right here? Mm. And give James another part. Let me know here in the comments. Number one for that. I think we're good. Right there. Tip says that all the time, run. What? Sammy says, Omar, talk about that series. Oh, yeah. So I'll be doing another live stream talking about that series. So 
There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. There's lot, so much. Lots to talk about. I'm so excited. I can't I cannot even wait to see these videos. Like, but it's gonna be cool. I'm about 85% done with the series. And I don't know if you know this, because some people thought that it was like just one video. It's really not. It's like, 16 videos. So well, you, well, twelve to sixteen, right? Fourteen to sixteen. Fourteen to sixteen. Yeah, and it's definitely be more than twelve. You have them all done. Yeah. Like you already, yeah. I have, I have about thirteen and a half done. So, sorry that I wasn't here engaging in the comments a whole lot while I was cutting James' hair. Where's you can, your broom? I'll sweep up. Uh, it's right there, right next to the TV. Cool. The floor is a little wet, but it should. Mm -hmm. All right, look, look at the work that we did. Look at this. That's a lot of hair. This is James's head and his neck vagina. Mostly from his neck vagina. But yeah, we uh, we overcame and we're good. When's it coming out? I'm anticipating February. So that's what I'm shooting for. Hopefully, like right around maybe Valentine's time over there. Like 30 days or less? Yeah. Yeah, ho hopefully. I, I just, it's a lot of work. And each video that we, well, that I edited is longer than an hour long. So it's going to, hopefully when I'm all done, it's going to be 16 one hour videos. And that's what took me so long because I've been doing it on my own while still trying to maintain uploading vlogs, uploading main channel videos, and having a farm, doing life, being a dad. So it's it's hanging been it's been tough. James. Hanging out with James, of course. But it's getting done, which is cool. Hey, thank you for the super chat, Joey. Canada won the World Juniors Hockey Championship gold medal against Czech Republic. Oh, wow. Hey, congrats, Canada. Hey, thank you, Donnie. I appreciate the love there. James Barnes, Omar, my favorite YouTuber. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate all the love. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great series. I think... For what it is, it's going to be very different. On the next live stream, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. I know on the previous live stream, I did kind of share some details about how... Oh, Elizabeth's calling you. Yeah. On how the series is and how it's set up. Because it's people thought that it's just like these individual alone videos. And it's not. It's a lot more than that. It's basically like when you watch one episode of the series, it's going to transition from one person being on one side of the United States to another person. And it's just going to kind of ping pong back and forth from people's nights. And it's, yeah, it's the only thing that I could think of that's remotely close to it is if you watch the series, it's called Alone on Netflix, you could watch it. And it, it uses survivalists, like people that are out in Alaska and they're just trying to survive for as many days as they possibly can in like really harsh, cold climates. So it's almost similar to that, but it's on one night and it's to see how strong people are when they're alone in a haunted place. And there are some people that don't survive through the night. So that is gonna be, that's gonna be what we got going on. Charlene said, James, no teeth? <laughs> hey, that's what James likes. I mean, hey, that's what James likes. You know, I'm not gonna knock on him. There's some beautiful women out there with no teeth too. Omar, will you ever go back to Fort Dade Road those were some of my favorite videos. Yeah, I man, I'd love, I'd love to go. But I kind of live a little far from there, so I would have to, I'd have to definitely go back there. It has been a while. Wow. Yeah, that's an awesome place. A lot of traffic on it, though. What's up, Paranormal Patrick, my boy? Can y'all say hi to my hubby Ed? He's recovering from pulmonary embolism. Hey, big shout out to, to your hubby Ed. Tell him that we send him our love. And prayers, of course, too. A lot of a lot of people sick right now. I mean, I was sick about a week ago, and it, I mean, it wasn't quite as bad as what Ed had, but yeah, man, it just it's it's awesome to be able to recover from being sick. You know, it's, especially when you're not feeling yourself. Lost minion. I really wanted to send you some pictures of all my chickens. Where can I send you pictures? Lost minion. If you want, send me some pictures on either. Instagram or an email, you could be happy. I'd be happy to see your email. You could email me at theomargosh at gmail.com. I can't always respond to everybody's emails, but I'll look for you, Lost Minion, and I'll check out your pictures. I can't wait to see your pictures of your chickens. So thank you so much for wanting to send those. I'm getting my chickens in February. I'm excited about that. 
Oh, I can't touch this here. Okay, Rebecca, thank you for the super chat. What are your chickens' names? I don't have names for the chickens as of now, but we ordered 25 chickens. It, it's from this like online hatchery and they deliver the chickens and we got to pick like all these different breeds and I got all females. That was kind of the reason why I went that route of like being able to, to go online and purchase chickens because you can you can pick their sex because roosters they can be a little nasty i did get one rooster and his I, you know what he's the only chicken that we named his name is going to be pimp so yeah that's we're getting it's called a black giant and we're getting a female black giant that's what they're called and so they're they're big they're big black roosters and I, i'm excited about having them he's going to be he's going to be the quite the ladies man he's going to have 25 girlfriends so, yeah, his name is going to be Pimp. Hopefully, he's nice. Omar, you're my hero. I've never missed your videos. Hey, thank you, Rez Boys. Appreciate the love. And thank you again. I don't know if I thanked you. Amanda Scooby-Doo. Omar, I have cellulitis again, and it has me pretty sick. Watching your videos helps me feel not so alone. There's nothing worse in the world than feeling alone. I hope that you recover from what you have. Send lots of love and prayers your way. Christina Bell, these past videos were awesome interactions with you guys. Thank you, Christina. Appreciate that. It's all love, man. Anytime we get together, you know, we have a good time. Hey, watch out, watch out. I don't want no Achoo. James. Hey, watch out. I don't want no James Aww. Chewbacca hickeys. That would be really funny. Hey, Omar, love your videos. How's your new puppy doing? New puppy's doing great. She's doing awesome. I'm having a hard time with my cow, though. The cow is being a little food aggressive. And my male llama, which his name is... La Mar, spelled like llama with an R at the end. Oh, it's not Cheerio so, one? No, it's not Cheerio. That was never his name. I, I never liked that. Name. Never yeah, so Lamar is his name. So he's a little aggressive towards our female named Dixie. He's like always spitting at her. But today she spit back at him. I was proud of her. I'm like, you go, girl. So yeah, you spit back. Lamar Burton. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, shout out to Nicole for mentioning Lamar's name, she's the one that named him. So yeah, maybe my next llama, I will name Nicole after you. So M is for Moon, why the sad face? Can you wish my wife luck? She's having her second baby soon. Hey, absolutely, George. Big shout out to the two of Bro, you. That's good. Man. You like it? Yeah. Like the haircut? Like, like, Dude, check, little... check out James's cut, man. He looks like a new man. Yeah. And shout out to you guys for suggesting the goatee, man. The goatee actually looks good on oh, you, bro. I can't even look at that. Yeah, man. Check out the goatee. Look, I, yeah, I got a mirror right there. What do you think? Actually, that looks not bad at all. Yeah. Look at this thing. A little different, right? Yeah. James needs a it's girlfriend. Nice. Hashtag. Oh, my gosh. I don't need nothing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he's good. He's got a vagina under his neck. So. <laughs> you know you got $50 in your... Yeah, it's my, it's my little hidden stash. Oh, okay. Smart. So handsome guy. Oh, all these like Bad. people saying how handsome you, you look, bro. Jumping the DMs. Yeah, see, he lying, bro. He, he's a, what is it? ASL? He's looking for a chick with no teeth because you know that's what that's, that's what he likes. I said it wouldn't be bad. Bro, I love seeing a woman smile with no teeth. Like it's it, you smile, you smile. No, you have teeth, like you just take them out. <laughs> oh, okay, so he likes that. So you gotta have some cute dentures <laughs> that way you can smile, and then in the evening you can put them in the cup and say, "What's up, Jay?" Hey, teeth are fine too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's saying, "Looking good, James. Looking good." <gasps> Haircut looks great, James. Good job, Omar. Hey, thank you so much. And David, thanks, Jamar and Omar. <laughs> you guys rock, Marita. Prayers for all the sick and having health issues. There's a lot of people sick right now. Um, I do want to ask a lot of you guys, if you can, too. I have a very special friend of mine that actually friends of mine. that They're going through some stuff right now. I'm not going to say their names just out of respect and privacy for them, but they are going through something right now. Their husband is very sick in the hospital, and I just want y'all, if y'all can, please say a prayer to lift them up and heal them. And a lot of people don't know the power of prayer. I mean, I've, I've seen atheists pray when they were, I'll, I'll give you, dude, you want, you want to hear something crazy? So check this out. I'm going to tell you something amazing. Okay. Cause I mean, I, I'm not trying to convert any atheists. You are free to believe what you want to believe. I know there's people, there's people out there that I love just as much 
if they don't believe in God or whatever. But okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. So my cousin of mine that just came back from, or he came from Cuba and he came as an illegal. I've showed him some, I've showed you guys him in a couple videos. He spent all this money. And I mean, if you don't know the situation in Cuba, like people are starving, okay? Like, I don't think you realize if you're in this stream right now, chances are you live a pretty good life and way better than the people of Cuba, which happen to be my family. That's where my mom's from. I am a first generation American, you know, from my bloodline, but my parents are both, my dad's from Puerto Rico, my mom's from Cuba, and the people of Cuba are going through some really sad times right now to the point where, yeah, that's why you see them on homemade boats trying to make it down or up to Florida to try to be an American citizen, you know, because they just, there's no food there, there's nothing to eat, they're, it's terrible what, what's going on. Well, anyways, long story short, I'm going to talk, to, talk about my cousin. He came here and the story that he had for me on how he came here, he paid like some drug dealers, like thousands of dollars of money that he spent. And it's hard to make any kind of money in a government types. It's, it's hard to make money in Cuba. Okay. So the fact that he had that much money is just, it's bizarre. Okay. You just don't have that. People don't have thousands of dollars in Cuba like that. Anyways, he gets to, I believe, Nicaragua and then like Mexico. And he's like, he's telling me the story of how he's on a bus and then the bus, like these motorcycles come and stop the bus and pretty much hijack it to get him out. Like he thought he was going to die. Okay. On several occasions, this guy came to the United States, not believing in God from how terrible of a time he had. Okay. And you know, his... His hopes weren't that high, too. When he came here, he spent his, his last dime on hiring a lawyer to try to help him become an American citizen. And they have they have these lawyers that they can help you with things like that. And it wasn't good for him. All right. So he the, the lawyer ended up scamming him from this money. And he told me straight up, he's like, Omar, I don't believe in God. And I told him this. How about this? How about you pray? that you become an American citizen and you don't, I mean, you could just pray and you could say, Hey God, you know what? Like if, if I'm not an American citizen and the, the chance, let me tell you, like the, the odds were against him, but I told him to pray this prayer, I told him, pray that you will become an American citizen. And if that prayer is not answered, you could continue to become an atheist. Literally a week after that prayer, a week after that prayer, he became an American citizen and he got his driver's license like this. He called me up so happy. He was like, I believe in God. And th thanks to you, I believe in God. So I just want to let you know the power of prayer is real. If you're going through some sicknesses, pray. All right. Even if you don't believe in God, you don't have to. You know, maybe you could even say that too. Like, hey, God, you know what? Like, you know, let me know you're real. Like, let me know. Okay. So I just wanted to share that, that story. I mean, it's just, you know, kind of simple, but it was really cool seeing my cousin who did not believe in God put all his hope into this simple prayer. And yeah, I'm not trying to preach and get like religious or anything like that. It's not what this is about. It's about hope. It's about having faith. And uh, the message that I got on New Year's was because, I mean, I'm a very worry, worrying type of guy. I worry a lot. And I think a lot of us here watching are guilty of being worrying type individuals as well. And my message was put faith before your worries. And it's so true. Sometimes we forget that. You know, we're, we're living proof that we're going to be okay. Why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow's going to be there. Tomorrow's always going to be there. It's okay to be concerned. Big difference between worrying and, con and being concerned. And it's okay to plan things out. But why, like, continue to just, like, worry and worry and you know, oh my God, is this going to happen? Like, you know, am I going to be an American citizen? Like, like I'm going to worry, worry. And then bam, like the best thing happens to you, you know? So just leave all your worries to yourself. I see all, I saw we, we lost a couple people when I started talking about God. It's uh, it's pretty normal. So um, I'm not going to apologize because that's what I believe. And you're free to believe whatever you want. So I love you. I love you no matter what. All right. Amen to that. It can be so hard when you have anxiety, depression. Yes, and I do. That's me right there. 
I have anxiety and depression. I hope your anxiety and depression get better, Chantel. I feel like a lot of times people lose faith or lose faith or lose hope because of bad things that happen. But I feel like also sometimes we're giving these challenges or giving these hard times to test our faith to see if we can, you know, get past it and and, and keep our faith. And I've yeah. done this before where I was just so discouraged, so depressed. And I just kept telling myself to keep having faith, keep having faith, keep trusting in God, keep trusting, you know, in, in the process. And it's it's hard to do that. But if you continuously keep doing it, I guarantee you, you will get out of it and you will get to the place that you want to be. Yeah, you'll have a breakthrough. But just got to keep, keep the faith, though. Got to keep the That's faith, for say, real. Keep the faith. No need to worry. Give it all to God. That's right. Teta. Uh, fear is not good. Yes. And I agree. Um... But yeah, I just want to share that with you because yeah, there are a lot of people out there that are sick going through some things right now. And I just want you to know that don't be afraid to reach out to your maker and, and say, hey, you know what? Like I give this sickness to you, you know, please heal me. And you just never know what the good Lord has in store for you. So yeah, it's always great to pray. God wants us all to let him worry. Prayer can move mountains. Yeah, I love all these awesome comments. Omar, will you cut mine, Charles said. Uh, eventually. Yeah, I don't know where you're at, but maybe. Lambo Rambo, thanks for the comment. Catherine Castaneda, thanks, Omar. Love your last name, by the way. I think that's a, that's a Spanish last name. Push, pray until something happens. Ooh, I like that. Push, pray until something happens. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. But yeah, don't ever be scared of, of like praying. I've prayed myself out of some really sticky situations in the past. Joey, thanks. Omar at my parents' place. The ghost does the same thing every night at 1.30 a.m. Walking by the fridge and tops it and says, why can't I open it? If you can set up some cameras and, and take some video of that, that would be awesome. I would love to share that. Uh, I hope it's nothing evil that's that's bothering you there. If it is, pray. Pray, pray, pray. And thank you for becoming a member. I owe y'all some new member videos, by the way. Solita, I miss you. How you doing? So good to see you here. Hey, Omar, you need to ask Tiffany to marry you. I did ask her, but she doesn't want to marry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's going to kill me just for saying that. No, no. It's uh, like we're just taking our time with it. We want to have a nice wedding. Hopefully, maybe we're thinking about having a wedding at the farm, having like a farm wedding. So we got this huge, beautiful property. So that is something that we might do. So a hey, big shout out to my homie, Amanda Barrett, too. She's awesome. She's always in here mod modding and on our Facebook that we used to have, too. She modded that or she's still modding, I think, our Facebook group. Elizabeth Flood, thank you for becoming a member Yes, Mr. ADHD. Amen to that. Check out the haunted roads of Arkansas. I've been to Arkansas once. Beautiful state. I don't think we went and did any videos. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you again. Past Life Explorer, what is good? PLE, big shout out to my bro. And Everyday Treasures, what's good, bro? You're welcome to New Jersey Omar to do a lot more haunted videos. Tiff has to wear cowboy boots under her dress. Yes, that would be awesome for, yeah, that would be great. I didn't even know I was in a member anymore. Well, I'm back. Hey, thanks for coming back, Solita. That would be awesome, a wedding on the farm. I was thinking of even dressing up the llamas, like having like little tuxedos on, on Lamar. And I, I might have some more llamas from, I, I don't know. Yeah, I may have some more llamas in the future. Hopefully, we'll get nice llamas. What up, Jared? My bro, Avery. Smash that like button. Victoria's Secret. Never gonna get an answer. Okay, I don't know what your question was, but obviously you're never gonna get an answer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know because you didn't, you didn't, I didn't see your question. But I'll do my best to answer your question, unless your question wasn't for me and for somebody else. People are just ignoring our comments. Okay, I, I, I do apologize. I do want to apologize in advance. I do this, I feel like, on every live stream. There's no way for me to possibly be able to read every single comment. It's just, you know, 
I, and I always challenge you, if you think you could do it, read every comment right now and see if you can respond, like just in real time while to yourself. You're <laughs> while you're talking, yeah, while you're talking. So talk on the phone, call up mom, dad, or somebody and then read the comments and be like, and then respond to them, you know, but I don't know. It's hard, but I, I do my best. I don't want you to think that I don't love you. I love each and every one of you so, so much. Have no idea, like I'd be lost without y'all. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't mean that like I'm purposely like ignoring you or anything like that. I just it's hard for me to read every single comment. But did you finally get rid of the bees? Oh yeah, that's a great question. Great question. So we didn't get rid of the bees. They just haven't returned. We we found like a natural natural remedy. It's not a poison or anything, but we found like a natural uh, like spray that's all natural, and we sprayed it around the the food, and they haven't been back. Thank, thank God, because we don't want to kill any bees. We want to keep our bees. Bees are very good for the environment, even though Tiffany's highly allergic. I'm not allergic, but I don't like getting stung by bees. So I respect them, but bees are very good for the environment. Don't want to kill them. So we used a natural way to deter them, and they haven't been back. Thank God. Uh, yes, to Piano Girl, what you said right there. He's one person. <laughs> Shave tuxes on your animals. Oh, man, if you have a way to... Sh I, I don't know if... I, I'm going to have to hire somebody to shave those guys when it gets a little warm out. Like, it's uh, it's impossible to even get near my llamas. Like, they let me feed them, but when I start trying to pet them, it, it's not like baby llama. Baby llama is real easy to... Like, she gets in your face, and I hope she's friendly like that when she becomes an adult llama. I don't know. For you adult... Or for you llama people out there maybe we have like one or two people that own or have owned llamas or maybe they have experience um learning llamas they're kind of new to me I got, I got them as pets and i got them also to help with deterring coyotes because that's something that they do naturally coyotes are really afraid of them however i don't know if babies are i mean i feel like babies like in anything are like really friendly because like my parrot is very friendly as a baby. She let everybody, or he let everybody hold him. But the moment he became an adult, he only wanted me and he started biting Tiffany. So that's, I don't know. I think that just, yeah. Clowns are moving. We're, clowns are moving. Are they? Okay, I, I guess there are some clowns moving back there. I see that one, but I think James touched it. I didn't even move. He didn't? I have not moved an inch. Tim Sunday said, remember, wash the homeless feet. It was ace, man. Hey, thanks. That was one of my favorite things. And Broken Soul, thank you so much for becoming a member. But yeah, that, I have a video that if you are maybe new to my channel, you haven't, maybe you haven't seen it. It's a couple years old. James is with me. But we had a couple videos where we would go out and give homeless people like we, we would do like hundreds of shoes. And from time to time, I still do this. I prefer to do it off camera. But maybe I should start sharing some of it just on social media because I'm learning that some of those videos actually help spark other people into doing the same thing. Because a lot of people don't realize how important shoes are when it comes to our homeless community. And it's pretty amazing. So Shannon Price said, love you, James. Love you too, Shannon Price, Shannon Price, Shannon Price. You still have your portable Wi-Fi. Yes, I do. I've been using it in my camper, actually. Are you going to do a video on the phone app that you drive to places? Are you talking about Randonautica or Intentions? Because I love those apps. Those are cool. I'm still sharing the older videos. Hey, thank you. Didn't you have a video with bees? Seems like you did. Yes, I did have a bee keeper friend. and he, But he lives a little far from where I live now. But I was thinking about giving him a call because he's like he's quite the bee trapper. I actually watched him and I got it on video too. I went with my friend Roland and we watched him do like a bee removal and I got stung on my face. It was, it was not fun. That was not a good day. And my friend Roland got bit like all over his leg or got stung. He, what a numb nuts. He wore shorts, but did I wear shorts? No, I didn't wear shorts. He wore shorts and he got stung on his legs a lot. <laughs> that was a funny video though. Big shout out to my boy Roland. If you don't know who he is, He's got a channel. It's called Rolling With Me. He's one of my best friends, too. When are you and all the other YouTubers, which is your friend, friends, go ghost hunting again? Hopefully when it gets warm out. 
So yeah, I'm not uh not giving up ghost hunting. It's still fun. What happened to your turtles? I still have the turtles. They're at the other house. I had a wasp nest last year. I thought I thought I was gonna say I had a wasp pet. That's funny. But don't like bees. Yeah, who likes bees? Oh, maybe some some people do. What do you think of donkeys? I love donkeys. They're just unpredictable. I don't know. I mean, if I ever got a donkey, it'd be like a baby and I would raise it that way. Like it could just kind of be around us. And I feel like when you have the opportunity to get something as a baby and you're a loving person, um, I'm not perfect, but I give my animals a lot of affection and my animals, like they give affection back. Like I feel like most animals, if you get them at an early age and you give them a lot of affection, they themselves can become very affectionate, especially with other humans. So it, it's kind of unpredictable if you're getting a, a donkey that has been raised by somebody who maybe wasn't affectionate with it. I mean, it's kind of like my cow Mona. It seems like, you know, wherever she came from before, I mean, even before I, because I got her from his way farm and they were using her as like a surrogate, but they got her from somebody else. And I, I think she exchanged a few hands. So we don't know how she was handled before that. So she could have been just kind of like, they didn't give her much love. So I think it's the same thing with cows. If you give cows like love at an early age, they can, they can love you. And I, Mona's coming around, but she's a little mean right now. She'll come around. So you should collab with Sam and Colby. That would be epic. Jessica Smith said, the only way that's going to ever happen is if they maybe reach out to me because I've reached out to them a few times and uh, just because you know I've had a lot of people request that like hey you should collaborate with Sam and Colby but I'll leave that up to them if they want to they want to collaborate one day I mean I, they don't really need me to collaborate it would be fun it would be a lot of fun I love collaborating with with pretty much any youtuber like just as long as like we could get along and we're we're on the same page when it comes to just having fun, you know, like I, I like, I like collaborating, collaborating is fun, but yeah, I'll, one day if they reach out to me, like I'd love to collaborate with them, that'd be fun, we'll see, maybe one day, do you think you could come to the UK, and what other animals are you going to get, so I'm going to be getting goats, so I'm, I'm definitely getting chicken, I'm getting chickens, ducks, the chickens are coming late February, the ducks are coming late March, so, like, right now, there's a, you know, it's winter time. There's not a whole lot of mating going on in the animal community. So, we have to wait till, like, early spring or late winter. So, February, March, technically still winter, but it's kind of on the way out into spring. And I'm getting goats, but there's no goats available right now. And I want a specific type of goat breed that is kind of hard to get. So, yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to have goats, chickens. I wanted to get my guardian animals in place first because goats and all that. I mean, llamas themselves are a pretty big investment, especially like the guardians. But you want to be able to like if you have goats, chickens, you want to be able to have them guarded by other animals. That way, if something tries to attack them, like, you know, they're, they're taken care of. And that's why I got I got two attack llamas and I got uh, I mean, they're not attack llamas, but they're guardian llamas. And then I got the guardian breed dog that she is so cute. So I almost feel like bad about leaving her outside. Like I, I'm totally against like any dog I feel should be inside. But I, as I was doing research, these dogs are like they're born. She was born in a barn. When I went and picked her up, like her parents, like she's from a breed of dog that they that's what they're used to. They're used to guarding um, their guardians for. Uh, lambs, sheep, things like that. So her parents were kind of showing her how to be a, a guardian dog. So that's what she's used to. And that's what those, those dogs, like they love, they love being outside. But with that said, you got to make sure like you give them lots of love and lots of cuddles and just lots of attention and lots of vet checkups. You got to take them to the vet and stuff too. make sure they they're have like flea medicine, heartworm medicine, because we get mosquitoes here in Florida. So that's something that is very, very important. Uh, thank you, Solita, again. Hi. Hey, Omar, I'm back. Sorry I didn't even know I wasn't. Oh, it's all good. I appreciate you being here and appreciate the super chat. 
Very nice of you. Sammy Bowen, I, a lot of feed with corn, oats, and barley has molasses in it. Oh, okay, so that was what the bees are attracting. So, hey, whatever we sprayed, and thank you for the super chat, by the way, but whatever we sprayed worked great, and they haven't been back. Nothing toxic or anything like that, but they, uh, they I know that they hate the smell of tea tree. They hate the smell of, uh, like, uh, vinegar and, like, other things, and I I don't know exactly what it was. It, it, it was all an all-natural thing but it wasn't like anything that could harm the bees or anything so get a mini horse that's one thing i'm not getting i'm not getting any horses horses are beautiful my neighbor right next door has a horse so i kind of adopted him because like he's right on the fence line of my paddock and he's friends with my llamas and cow but i don't have to pay the expensive vet bills or you know the high main i get to go and pet them and feed them and all that but yeah, I love horses, but they're really high maintenance, like very high maintenance. So that's why I kind of choose to not get horses. Even donkeys could have a little bit high maintenance too, but not as much as as horses. Uh, Jeremy, thanks for asking, man. I'm doing great. Thank God. Hey, you are my wife's favorite YouTuber. Can she get a shout out? Her name is Chastity. She watches you every night. Hey, big shout out to you and your wife, Chastity. And thank you for... Allow me to be your favorite. That means a lot. Many farmers and ranchers use Great Pyrenees to guard their animals. Yes, and that's what that's what we got. And I, it's going to be a training process. You know, I, I heard that they can kill your chickens and stuff. So when I get the chickens, I got to make sure that she's not right by the chickens at first. You know, like she'll be by them, but I have to watch her and make sure she doesn't kill. Because I'd be devastated. I don't want I don't want my chickens to die. Um, I grow up with a horse named Skyhawk. What a cool name. Love you too, Kayla. Daniel, can I get a shout out? Omar, my favorite. Ethan, shout out to Ethan. Yes, guineas are really, I was thinking about getting some, some guineas. Not Mustangs, we have two. So must. <laughs> wait, what kind of Mustang? Are you talking about the horse Mustangs, right? Or not the, I don't know what you're talking about. But I think all thoroughbreds in general are pretty high maintenance like there's maintenance with their hooves and their their teeth and like their skin i think my neighbor horse has like a skin um thing but i, I don't know it could be like an allergy or something my neighbors do a really good job taking care of him like he's very well or yeah he's very loved james should collaborate with twin paranormal hey i love twin paranormal man those are some of the best guys ever and i agree i think we all should but thank you for the super chat Teresa means a lot we can do two verse two yeah omar ethan wants a shout out i think i just shouted ethan out but shout out again to my bro ethan more pigs maybe might get some more pigs mm. hey let me know do you like if i like if i were to do some live streams at my farm for i mean i have a really good wi-fi signal where i'm at right there and on the farm and i the last time that i did the live stream it was the last live stream before this it was getting dark, so I couldn't show you a whole lot. Because sometimes I spend a lot of time out there. And the cow, the llamas, like the puppy, like they're so funny. Like some of the things that, that they do. Like it's it's very entertaining. So I was thinking maybe I'll do like some live streaming. And in the future, this is in the near future. This is James's idea. I may set up like 24-hour cameras on the paddock especially when i get the goats and the chickens and all that and have several cameras out there that maybe like i don't know how i could set it up especially like because i i definitely want to have my goats like procreate and have other baby because I, I want babies to be raised there you know what i mean i'm not going to take these babies and sell them or anything like that like i want i want to build a family of animals and have animals born on my farm or ranch or whatever what's the difference between a ranch and a farm do you know that Ranch farm. I'm calling yeah, it a ranch. ranch. More cattle. Is it? I don't, I call it the safe haven ranch. Hey, that's Siri. Yeah, that's a hey, good Siri. question for Siri. What's the difference between a ranch Trail and game. a farm? I don't think there's a difference. To summarize, a farm is a place that grows crops or raises livestock in order to collect resources from them. A ranch is specifically a large farm uh, where the main product is livestock. Hmm. Hmm. So you're kind of in between. Guess I'm in between. You're you have a French. A French. Yeah. A French, <laughs> a French. or a farm. A, 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 a ram. 
Rarm. I think French sounds French pretty sounds, good. sounds pretty good. Your male llama is aggressive because it is going through maturity. Okay, that makes sense. He's three years old. So I think I think it takes like a couple years for llamas to fully mature. And yeah, I plan to have some llama babies too. You know, we do have a, we have a male and two females. But my, my baby's, you know, she's not going to be breeding anytime soon. But the Ocha Popocho Ranch. <laughs> Groovy hippie chick, what is good? Your TikTok videos are hilarious. I haven't uploaded on TikTok in such a long time. Your llama needs a little special bonding time with James. James loves my baby llama. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So sweet. Yeah. So, Laura Hinkle said you have a teen llama. So, a three-year-old llama, would that be considered a teen? Because I know that, I know they live, like, llamas live, they can live up to, like, 30 years or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, hey, uh, someone did ask too. I want to answer this question. If am I sleeping at the clown cottage? I'm not sleeping at the clown, clown cottage. I do come here sometimes because I, I have property close by and I like to check up on my property. And then I come here to work and edit videos. And uh, James is staying close to here too. So it's, you know, we could hang out and stuff, but I do not stay here. And my property where I sleep is nowhere near here. It's like an hour and a half, two hour so, I mean, it's close, but not, I mean, it's still a long drive. So, yeah, I live in northern, or my, where my ranch is, is up towards, uh, it's called High Springs is the name of the town. So, it's a little bit of a drive. It's kind of by up north from Ocala, like up into Gainesville. So, it's a little bit of a drive from, like, Spring Hill area. So, yeah, good times. But still, it's awesome. It can get a little colder up there, especially in the morning time. But it's been fairly warm. Again, here in Florida, it was cold, but it got warm again. Chicken Ranch at Omar's. <laughs> there are so many fake Omar accounts on TikTok. It's so true. You know what's crazy is somebody name squatted my name on TikTok. And I tried reaching out to them. I'm like, hey, can you please give me my name? Like Omar Gosh TV. They stole my name, Omar Gosh TV. Do they put content or no? No, they don't post anything. They what literally just say? took my name. And then somebody took the name The Omar Gosh. I was only able to make an account, and it's Omar Gosh 004. You said you wrote to him, though. Did he write back? No, didn't write back. He probably doesn't even use the account. The, the thing is, is uh, if you go to, like, my description on YouTube, I put all my socials there. I don't have multiple Instagrams. I don't have multiple Twitters. I don't have multiple YouTube. Well, I got a couple YouTube accounts, yes. But I don't have Telegram, anything, anything like that. You can usually tell what a fake account is because it'd be like, oh my gosh, two or something like that, or it'll have a low amount of followers. Like all my accounts I've had for years, except for like, I lost our Facebook account. Like again, the second time I lost my Facebook account, but even that, like we had a Facebook account and it had like hundreds of thousands of followers. So, I mean, always look at the follow count. If I have like... 10 followers it's not me because i'm not advertising that channel i do have a personal facebook page but it's not really meant for like followers or things like that that's just like my facebook page that i've had since i was since i started facebook you know what i mean so it's got like pictures of you know my kids and that's the only reason i i keep up with it uh, maria said can you do another live like last time where you were interviewing people where he <laughs> where they were drunk, we don't like you. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That's a good distance from where we're at right now. But yeah, maybe sometime in the future we'll do something like that again. That was fun. What, don't you remember that, man? That was really cool. Heather Bell said, when is the Alone series coming out? Dynasty. I touched on this a little bit earlier. Maybe you, you weren't here at the time, but I am planning on releasing it maybe in february so that's like my my re goal because my goal was december but i was hoping that i would have the help that i was supposed to have and that didn't work out and i got stuck with doing everything myself so that's why it's been a little bit slow and i've been kind of chipping at it when i can on top of still trying to upload content and i i mean not posting for a month on both my channels really hurt it hurt my channels bad um, to the point where I, I mean, you could see like my one video that had like 500,000 views or whatever. It's like, it took a month for me to upload. And then the rest of the videos, it's like you, P 
people always say that, or no, it's YouTube. They say that it you don't get affected at all. Like if you don't upload consistently, like it can hurt you. It can hurt your YouTube channel. So if you have a channel out there and you want to, you want it to grow, be consistent. I mean, not saying that I wasn't consistent. I'm probably one of the most consistent YouTubers on the platform. I've been consistently uploading content since 2011. That's a long, well. The break that you took like a few months ago was the longest break you've ever done. That's the longest break I've ever taken, one month. Because I usually upload a video at least every week, sometimes twice a week, but consistently at least every week. I'm, I may be like a week and a half because I, sometimes I work a little harder on some videos. They take a little bit longer of a turnout to to bring back and you know and upload but this series took a long time and it i don't even know how i'm still able to still post content like it just but it's working out it's but yeah it's gonna be soon and it's gonna be worth the wait because when i when i'm done with these videos i'm gonna put them all out together uh, i mean maybe not all out together but pretty close they'll be coming out like maybe every couple days and it's 16 like episodes so it's a lot of content and they're long videos, which would be great. I don't think I'll do anything like this again because it was the it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. And I mean, I wanted to try it out. There was a side of me that was like, you know, hey Omar, you know, you should maybe invest more money. You know, invest more money. It should be worth it. Invest more time. You know, put together like the coolest documentary style like video you possibly can and and have every youtuber that you know a part of it and that's what we successfully did but i don't know if i'll do it again because it was rough but it's gonna be cool i can't wait to show it might be some that i'll uh, maybe i'll do it again in the future but it'll, it, I, I won't try to rush into getting it done right away i'll take my time with it kind of like i'm taking my time now with it so behind you is so haunted right now LOL. You mean James? What do they say? They keep saying clowns movie. What clowns movie? The green clown. Which is a green clown? There's one right there. That's. The... Well, I how I'm definitely not touching it. Uh, oh, it just moves by itself. This one a little. It's the air. Time. The air's probably moving it. Yeah. I would recommend growing your own. Hey Omar, you're gonna need it. You can hire someone to harvest it. So you can, so you don't have to buy the equipment. That's a, that's pretty smart. I mean, we have just about ten acres of land and a lot of a lot of good grass, too. What is your favorite place ever that you ever explored on your haunted channel? My favorite place. Hmm. Man, I'd have to say hands down the Queen Mary. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, Queen Mary is my favorite place. That's one of those places that I could just. Yeah, like it's just so cool. Like every time you go, you see something different. It's there's so much haunted history there, and you feel like you're stepping back in time the moment that you walk through the door. It's kind of sad that you can't go there now anymore. Very sad. I hope they fix it up. You know, it'd be fun, bro, if we made a Queen Mary video. Like, we I probably have like 10 videos at the Queen Mary. I was thinking about making a, like a compilation video of like all the queen marys and and just like maybe all the times that three hour marathon it could be either a super long video that we compile everything together or it could be like the highlights or maybe both maybe yeah. we could do two videos a shorter condensed one of like all of the highlights of the queen mary and then like a mashup of all the videos together with commentary that's a good idea you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's my favorite place ever. So, good question. Blooper reel. I think we include pretty much all the bloopers. And, I mean, maybe... I mean, just bloopers would be cool. Or just pranks and stuff. That would be a good yeah. idea. The city of Long Beach is fixing her up so she will be able to visit again. I hope so. They said that that was going to happen, I think, in, like, October. During, like, Halloween that you were going to be able to visit again, but... I think the whole pandemic thing put a kibosh to that, though. Yeah. Especially in California. Uh, Emma Tiao. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Or is Amy. Amy Teal. A compilation would be awesome. Hey, you going to take a shower, bro? Get that uh, get that hair off you? Yeah, but I got to get some clothes. Actually, I just put these back on, right? Or T. No? Yeah, you, I mean, you That's can. I think I'm going to do that. That towel that you used yesterday, I cleaned it. You can use it again. Oh, yep. 
the Titanic ship that Omar went on was pretty cool. Yeah, I went on two Titanic. Well, there was two Titanic museums, and then there was a Titanic like replica ship that was in Missouri. That was a pretty cool place. So James is famous. Adventures with Ashley. Hey, we were talking about the Queen Mary. <laughs> Yeah, she's in a couple of my videos. So someone asked, am I going to be growing anything on my farm? I was thinking of um, maybe growing some cocaine plants in the future. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you just doing to cocaine plants? Yeah, why are you getting all excited I mean, for? We were just talking about like picking mushrooms out of, out of the cows. That was you talking about the mushrooms with the cows. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I, I asked my... I think it was my local like property appraiser. I'm like, you know, hey, look, I have agricultural land. Is there any way I can get a break on my taxes and what I have to do? And they're like, well, you don't, you don't have 10 acres. Like we have almost 10 acres. And they were like, because you don't have 10 acres, you can't claim the agricultural exemption when it comes to having cattle. But if you want to put five acres of fruit trees on your property, will give you an agricultural exemption on your taxes. And I'm like, five, eight, that's like half my yard of fruit trees. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. I love fruits and I love trees, but I would lose like my half my yard to have fruit trees. Like, that's cool. I'll just take the L. So yeah, good times with agricultural stuff. But you should plant a few shade trees for some shade, Omar, so nice. Now my paddock where my animals are, there's some nice shaded trees in the back. But I agree, I don't I'm gonna plant a couple trees, but I I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I'm a huge fan of trees. I just said that. But having trees around my house, like I hate having leaves in my driveway. And and that's one thing I loved about our property is it's just it's an old um, I think it was an old orange tree field. That or a strawberry field or blueberry. I don't I don't know. It was they used to grow some kind of fruit trees there, so it's all like pasture now, which is amazing. And like, there's very few trees. I think I have a total of maybe six or seven trees on like this nine acres of land. So it's kind of nice, like not having all these trees with all their leaves and all the stuff that. I mean, I love trees, but I I hate the leaves that get in your driveway and get on your roof and stuff like that. And if you have like a pool, you get all these leaves in your in your pool. Doesn't the government pay you not to grow things? I don't know. That's a good question. It sounds kind of cool. I think every state is different. Like Florida might be, and every county is kind of different. But, um, wow, I kept y'all way too long here, man. 107 minutes, that's insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go here. I love y'all so much. Thanks for uh, thanks for being live with me. If you haven't seen my video, go check it out. James' video too. We did some awesome, super scary videos. And these videos are so scary. I got to tell you this funny story. Okay, don't jump off just yet. I know I just said bye to you. but So Tiffany calls me and she's like, Boston has not left my side. And I'm like, why? Like he is terrified. He watched your video and he's terrified. And... Like, it has been a while since he watched one of my videos and was that scared. And it's so funny because the name of the video is Scary Ghost Videos. I think it's Scary Ghost Videos, so scary. Or no, Scary Ghost Videos, you'll, like, run to your mommy or something like that. Or you'll cry to your mommy. And, like, that was the title. And, like, poor Boston was, like, you know, scared. And he was by his mommy. So, yeah. Go watch it. It's that scary. And so is James's. But yeah, Boston's fine. He's fine. He's just, he was like, he watched it and he was like a little scared. So it's just like when you watch a scary movie, like, yo, when I was like 18 years old, 19 years old, I watched Blair Witch Project for the first time and I was scared to go into the, like, I was scared to go to the woods. Like it was, it was terrifying. So anyways, I love y'all so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for, uh, for being my family. And I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be going live, hopefully the farm. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll go live tomorrow from the farm. But you have to let me know by liking this video and let me know here in the comments if that's something that you'd probably like to see. But I'll do it during the daytime. So you got to make sure you have notifications on. So can I get an okay? Can I get an amen? Can I get a thumbs up? Yes. Okay. Nancy said yes. All right. Got a couple yeses. Got some thumbs ups. All right. Good. Good. 
Also had somebody share the link to my video. So thank you so much. All right, y'all. You're rock you're rocking. I appreciate all love. And if you're going through something, just want to let you know I'm thinking of you and praying for you. And sorry I didn't get to see everyone's comment here. No hard feelings. I love you. If you're watching this and I didn't get to see your comment, love you regardless. So just want you to know that I'm thinking of you. Give me a kiss.